Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into my good sis voice. Uh, Kasanat going viral after shocking moment. Scott Jackson, let's get it. Kasanat is going viral after his friend Dez pull off one of the Jabberwockies mask. Someone in the comments said Dez is the ultimate crash out. Right after Kasanat asked if they ever showed their faces and they all said no, that ish would have been crazy. Dude need to calm down. They take their ish seriously, not showing their faces. He nearly... Wait, wait, wait. ...crash out. Right after Kasanat asked if they... Oh, yeah, showed their faces and they all said no. That <laughs> first of all, dude was right on cue. He got right out the camera and ran right to the ish back. Would have been crazy. Dude need to calm down. They take their ish seriously, not showing <laughs> their faces. He nearly ruined their entire brand. Now people were showing pictures, but this is the old Jabberwocky back in the day. This new crew is strict on not showing their faces at all because they don't want people to know who left the group, who possibly stayed. Y'all leave out comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to this. That's After crazy. Sky Jackson baby father embarrassed her yesterday, supporters are confused as to why she would even make this dude her baby daddy. No his criminal bad, background yeah. so people started making up excuses saying maybe sky is with him because he looked like her best friend and co-star cameron who passed away which the baby daddy did respond here's what he had to say hey bro that nigga in this wood right here stop comparing me to a dead nigga though the fuck is y'all cool like, what the fuck is y'all cool y'all keep on comparing me to a nigga that's dead also, a male TikToker came forward with receipts claiming that Scott Jackson, baby daddy, and him were talking secretly, allegedly. Y'all, so I can't just sit and keep being quiet no more. Scott Jackson, baby daddy, need to go ahead and tell the truth about what me and him got going on. Mm -hmm. Like, you going on live, trying to do all this about her, but you need to tell her why you doing all that and who you really like and who you really want to be with. Like, I don't got no issues with Scott Jackson. I don't want no beef. And I've been quiet for so long. He's telling me don't text her, don't DM her, her, anything about, like, what we got going on or what we had going on. But it's, like, it's too much. Like, you stop peeing, so now I'm going to start playing. I'm going to start running my mouth. And I get... Ah. Ah. She had a baby and she's coming out to the world that she's pregnant now, but he needs to really come out and tell the truth before I do. Whoa. And this is the last time. You've already said enough. Who doing the bending? <laughs> That's what we want to know. I feel like a lot of these men got gay in them. I'm not surprised. I'm sorry. I'm going to let everybody know before I show all the videos and pictures and all that stuff when I was up at your house. <sighs> but you're such a gang banker. Like, tell them all the stuff we do. And Scott Jackson, if you see this, don't try to overdo too much because it's normal. Everybody likes what they like. So you can't be the one that try to make that decision for him. To end off the day, because there was a lot going on, Sky Jackson, baby daddy, allegedly, according to Tasha K, got pulled over and arrested yesterday. And he's currently in police custody. Kiana J was asked, how does she feel about Big Boogie for Carmen? How do I feel about Boogie for Carmen? I like it. <coughs> I just don't like how all these girls is coming out. And it's like... I don't want to say I'm overprotective over Carmen, but it's like after what she been through with Corey, it's like you really want the perfect. Yeah, but nobody's perfect though. But I want like the perfect could never happen. Um, uh, what's that child name? Carmen like getting cheated on. We need to stop acting like. We need to stop acting like she don't, because if she made them hold that respect at the door, you know, held them to a standard at the door maybe we wouldn't have that issue but damn she let Corey cheat for years it's one thing for somebody to you know what i'm saying go out and do whatever that they do because y'all can't act like it's not temptation out here in this world and i know for a man it gotta be like ridiculous so right is what it is i mean you could be at a, at a grocery store and a woman is checking you out you know what i'm saying literally in line and she'll hit you with the i suck you up when I get off. And that nigga will be in the parking lot. Because you didn't suck him up the, 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 the day before, the night before. So, 
I can only imagine what they going through. But all I'm saying is, um, if she would check it at the door and have that respect for herself, I don't think it would go that way, but I don't think she has an issue with it. So that's where I am. The perfect situation for her. I'm not saying that he's not good for her because she's clearly very and happy. industry men definitely going to cheat, period. I mean, when you get with him, you should already know. He cool with me right now, but he going to have his vaina sausage in somebody else's job by the end of the next week. And I love that. I love seeing her happy and enjoying life, especially like in a new environment. But I just be side eyeing because all these girls be coming out and I don't want her to be hurt again. Like, I want her heart to be fully protected. And I'm not in a relationship with them, so I don't know. I can't really speak on his behalf. But just from a friend outside looking in, like a mother, you know, I just want her heart to be protected. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was a good one. That was a good question. Whoever asked that was a really good question. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the last one for her and then one more for me. Y'all, every time with these, we don't be knowing what to ask. Like, literally, I feel like y'all be asking the same, same questions. So we be scrounging through to, like, find DC questions to ask each other. Oh, give us your last fight story time. <laughs> they say go did respond to Brooklyn Queen because recently Brooklyn Queen was on DDG's podcast. But here's what Jay Sinkle had to say. So we'll call each other, you feel me? Like when um that whole podcast shit happened, you feel me? You know, I called her and shit. You feel me? Had a real conversation where there wasn't no hate on the phone, no envy on the phone. That's so funny to me. This is so full circle. <clears throat> Nick, what are you talking about? Man, y'all just y'all just want me to go live and tell my business so I could be on the T pages, and y'all just want to talk about what I got going on with T pages, and shit. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all always just checking in with T pages, shit, T pages. To a full circle, be reacting to the T page. I'm not saying that because of him. I'm saying that because of y'all. Some of y'all be like, why you reacting? Why you doing? <laughs> I just thank God every day. I'm glad that I did not stop because some people have been tricked out of their position because of some of y'all comments. Next thing you know, though, the people that we was talking about are doing reactions to those same pages. I just think it's funny. But all right. <clears throat> mm. Or nothing. But um, just right now, bro. You feel me? Like, I'm just being respectful to what I got going on. You feel me? At the end of the day, she got something going on. You know what I'm saying? And me personally, I can't do that. Like, I can't. I feel like that would be disrespectful to who I'm messing with. You feel me? Just because, even though it was a great ass friendship, you feel me? But at the end of the day, bro, like, you know, like, come on, bro. Like, you know, we didn't did videos. She bounced on it. Uh, you know, just all type of, it's just all type of shit. You feel me? Like, just being real, though. You feel me? Like, just being very real. You feel me? Like, I'm not knocking the friendship at all, you feel me? But at the end of the day, bro, it's just certain things we did. I just cannot, I can't bring that around my 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 woman. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't do that. I feel like that'd be very disrespectful. You feel me? Like to even think that was okay. You feel me? Like I, I just can't personally do that. And just to respect her relationship. You feel me? Like I don't know how bro feel. I don't know nothing. You feel me? I just want to be respectful. You feel me? Like I don't want to cross nobody lines. You know, it's, it's, if you know we good, we good, and it, it ain't no pressure. Like, you know, we ain't dying if we don't hang out. Like, you feel me? Like, we chilling. We good. We know we straight. You feel me? And I just, how they got to keep it, you feel me? Just to be respectful to what I got going on. You feel me? So. People are dragging Dub at the Britney's video. Hello? What you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I need you to, um... Send me fifteen hundred dollars. Cause I, I thought they was beefing. Why are y'all on the phone? That's that baby mama, baby daddy shit. I'm telling. I have to pay fifteen hundred dollars <throat> on my rent by the fifteenth, or I ain't gonna be able to live here no more. <laughs> yeah, by the fifteenth. Huh? We have a couple days to figure it out. Where am I gonna get $1,500 from in two days? Okay, figure it out. How am I gonna figure it out? Just You could just send it to me. I'll give it back to you. No, you can figure it out. How am I, or I could just move back there. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> 
just sell it to me. I just wait for it. Huh? I said just wait for it. You gonna sell it to me? No. Yeah, you are. Daisha had, first of all, he's already let it be known that he wasn't giving her no more money. And to be honest, that whole little video situation they had going on, I wouldn't sell her nothing neither. Because she was basically like, nigga, I don't need your help, nigga. And he give her money anyway, so I just think he wasn't giving her more than what he already gave her. <sighs> to quickly stop juicing after finding out that it was drying up her milk supply for her baby. So... Baby, Todd gave up on that motherfucking pump and stuff. I think that it was the juicing that stopped. And I just, I never juice. So now that me trying it, I see that it probably contribute, contributed to her not being able to produce as much milk because she wasn't eating any food. And she wasn't, you know what I'm saying, busting down how I be busting down. She got to bust down how I be busting down. But she wasn't busting down at all. And she was drinking juice and shit. And I think that's what stopped her milk supply so yes do not do that shit if you do it make sure you still bust down for real Wait, what's the bust down <laughs> like still eat right i didn't know that i just found that out i didn't have a clue i didn't know that you can't you know what i'm saying do a little diet here and there when you're breastfeeding so i learned my lesson and don't have to worry about eat. me doing it again because <clears throat> i gotta feed my baby she come first don't feed your baby. every time you know i need to feed your sister Okay, well, um, obviously Ty wouldn't know that, so. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, yeah. Not dieting while breastfeeding. Yeah. Well, I see y'all let me know what y'all think. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.